Bamboo's workflow conductor has several choices for interacting with people during a workflow. Our request approval, request feedback, a uh, custom user task form and collect data from user widgets are all tools that you can use to interact with people. This interaction is usually through tasks that get assigned to various people that you identify. So e each of these widgets has the option to allow task assignees to delegate their tasks to other users if they need to. Uh, this feature is nice because it can help improve the efficiency of your business process. So instead of waiting for the originally identified person to respond, they can delegate and the task may be done quicker. So let me show you how it works. As you can see, I have a SharePoint 2013 farm that I'm working with. This is an on-premises SharePoint environment. I'm looking at a site called Team B. And on this site, I have a document library. It doesn't have any documents in it yet. But I've turned on content approval, and I'm storing major versions. This is where I want to set up a request approval widget uh, so that I can automate the approval process for uploaded files. So uh, on this document library view, I'm going to go to the library widget, uh, library ribbon and click Create or Edit Workflows to open up the Workflow Conductor Studio. Once it's open, what I'm going to do is um, add a request approval widget here. I'm going to double click on it so that I can configure it. On the Properties uh, dialog that appears, um, I'm going to slide down to see the request approval details. Um, I'm going to review and improve the current item, so I leave that the way it is. I have uh, three reviewers that I'm going to identify, but I just need two of them to approve. So I'm going to select multiple approvals required and enter the number two. And then here I'm going to enter my users. I have an SP user one, SP user two, and then I'm going to add myself as a third reviewer. I'm going to click the checkbox and we'll see that those users all get resolved. Those are all individual uh, users of SharePoint, so uh, for this expand groups, I am going to leave it at no. And then the next thing I need to do is save comments uh, to a variable, so I need to create the variable for the review comments. It's going to be a text variable. Click Add Field. Click Save Changes. And then I should be able to select that variable. There it is. Next, I'm going to specify task details. This is the task that will be assigned to those reviewers. I'm just going to call it review document. I'm going to say that uh, this task will be due two days from the date it's created. Uh, for notifications, there's lots of things I can choose here. This notification section in the request approval widget is similar to the notifications you'll see in the other user interaction widgets in the workflow conductor. So request feedback, collect data from user, custom user task form will have uh, similar options available to you. First one, attach item to emails. Uh, I'm going to say yes because sometimes it's easier for people to review a file that's attached to the email. I know sometimes IT people don't like that, but I'm going to set it up that way today. Send task notification. Uh, a task notification is an email that gets sent to the task assignees letting them know that they have work to do. I think that's an important notification, so I'm going to leave that set to yes. Send reminders. I can also send a reminder if I choose yes. It's going to ask me how many days before it's due. Um, since this is just due in two days, I'm not going to bother sending a reminder. Send status update emails. These get sent to the workflow initiator. Since that's me, I'm just going to set that to no to simplify things for this demonstration. Allow reassignment. This is the option that allows those task assignees to delegate their tasks if they need to. Uh, 
Now this is something as the workflow designer you can either allow or not allow. Uh, in my case, I'm going to allow it. When I set that to yes, you'll see that there's a reassignment subject and body. That's the email subject and body that gets sent to the person that my task assignees delegate to, if they do. Um, so I'm going to just take the default for that. There's a, two other options that I can set to yes if I want to, allow request change and escalate overdue, but I'm going to leave them set to no. Uh, and maybe talk about them in another video. So that's the end of the request approval configuration. The next thing I'm going to do is um, if I get my two approvals, I'm going to uh, go down to lists and items and I'm going to set approval status. So um, here uh, it's going to be the approval status of the current item. I can either set it to approved or rejected, pending, draft, and scheduled. Since I'm just saving major versions, I'm going to say that it's approved. The comments for that approval, I'm going to specify the variable here. And then um, this approval, I'm going to run as the workflow designer because uh, the person who initiates this review uh, doesn't have the authority, possibly, to approve the file. If they did, they might have approved it themselves. So that's uh, set approval status to approved. I'm also going to set the approval status on the rejected side also, because if it gets rejected, we need to set it uh, to rejected here. And again, Add the comments, save, workflow designer. And uh, that's all we'll do for this uh, workflow for now. There's lots more that you could add, but just to keep things simple, we'll uh, stop it right there. I'm going to click on settings and give my workflow a name. Um, and I'm just going to set it up to be run manually for now. Um, and then I'm going to click Publish to List. Save it first, and then Publish. OK, Publish successfully. I'll click OK. I'm going to close my Workflow Conductor Studio down. Next I'm going to do is upload a file to my document library. We'll call this Sample 2. Uh, we'll initial upload. There's Sample 2. Then I'm going to start my workflow uh, manually. You'll notice that the approval status is pending, again, because I have content approval turned on. To start a workflow, I'm going to go down to the Workflows option in the Context menu. Pick the workflow to start, and then click Start Workflow. Now we see an extra column in our document library, Review Uploaded Comment. That's the name of my workflow that I just published, and uh, this workflow is currently in progress. If we click on the In Progress word, we can see the workflow status. So we can see that three tasks have been created, one for each of those reviewers. And we've just started the Request Approval widget. So because I turned on task notifications, I should have gotten an email for the one assigned to me. So let me go find that email. Here it is. An approval task was assigned to you by me. Uh, review the document. There's the description. Uh, the file is attached to this item, so I can look at it if I want to. Um, I can also go back to the message and uh, click here to open up the task that was assigned to me uh, where I would communicate my approval or my rejection of that file. 
Here's my task. Uh, same title, same description we saw before. The due date was calculated two days from today. Uh, was requested by me. So uh, my comments are going to be looks okay to me and I'm going to approve. Um, I'm going to click back on that workflow status that we were looking at earlier and I'm going to refresh that page. And you'll see that uh, the task that's assigned to Julie is now completed. And the outcome was it was approved. We have two other tasks that are still uh, out there waiting to be completed. So each of these users would have received an email notification about uh, those tasks being assigned to them. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open that task since I don't have their email. So we'll take a look at their task. And um, so this one uh, is going to be the one that we're going to reassign. So this uh, one we'll just put a note in that says um, no time to review. delegating to SP user 3. And then I'm going to click reassign task and I'm going to specify SP user 3 which is a third user I have. I'm going to say that the due date for them is tomorrow. I'm not going to give them two days. And then and click submit. Looking back at the workflow status page, you'll see that a fourth task has been added um, and it's assigned to SP user 3. And the title of that task is different than the other three in that it says it's been delegated by Julie. Uh, it says it's delegated by me even though um, it was a task assigned to SP user 1. If I had uh, updated that task as SP user 1. It, it would say delegated by SP user 1. You can also look at the task that was assigned to SP user 1. Its status is completed and the outcome is that it was delegated to SP user 3. So now um, SP user 3 would have received an email notification about that task. Uh, they would be able to click on the link in the email and open up their task. They should also have seen the file attached to their email so they could take a look at it. They can always click up here also in the task. Um, so we'll give a comment um, as uh, to finish SP user 3's task and we'll choose to approve. You see that we go back uh, to this status. Um, SP user 3 task is now completed. Um, and SP user 2's task is canceled. That's because when I configured that request approval process, I said of the three reviewers, I just need two people to approve this file for me. So that's why when two, even though one of the approvers was a delegated assignee, uh, when two people approved, uh, I have all the approvals I need and the remaining tasks are canceled. If we look down here, we can see that um, the set approval status was completed also and the workflow has completed. So if we take a look uh, back at uh, sample two, we can see that the approval status is now approved. And we can uh, probably also take a look at the version history and see that this is, a, um, this is the first major version. Uh, the comments initial upload and uh, the approval status approved. So that's an example of a workflow 
uh, that's a request approval workflow where one of the tasks was delegated to another user. 